Hello again, YouTubes! This is BD Bum, and welcome to Either! So this is a game that I've seen a couple other, or not a couple, a lot of other YouTubers play, which is basically just a game, a good old game of Would You Rather. So in the last episode video, I recorded Will You Press the Button, which was really fun, so I decided to give this a spin as it seemed fitting. So our first question is, would you always always be hot, sucks, or always be cold? Really sucks. However, <laughs> I'm gonna go with always be cold, because you can just wear a sweater, or does that not matter? Oh man. <laughs> yeah, in that case, I'd always be hot. Because it'd be uncomfortable, but not as uncomfortable as always being cold. Because, like, you know, when you're out cold, your fingers get all stiff, and you, you're not all, all nimble, and everything hurts more when it hits you. If you're always hot, you're just kind of sweaty. You'd get used to it, but with cold, it just affects you. So, hot. Thank you very much. 12 seconds later. So for some reason, the buttons don't work. Right now, uh, it's probably a sight problem. So uh, we were not going to be able to see which side we're on. How many people voted for what? No! <laughs> oh, well, it's okay. Who cares about other people's opinions? <laughs> okay, so would you rather travel, travel, travel the world confined to a wheelchair, okay, or spend your whole life in the same 200 mile radius? Um... Gosh, well that means your legs wouldn't work, right? Or would it just mean you're like tied down to a wheelchair but you're traveling the world? <laughs> I don't know, to me traveling the world just doesn't sound that appealing. So uh, I'm gonna go spend your whole life in the same 200 miles radius, why not? However, that would also mean that like you can't go anywhere to see any relatives or fly out for a trip. Oh no, what have I done? How would you explain that? It's like, okay, we're gonna go to Orlando, Florida to go to Disney World. I can't because I made a mistake and would you rather? <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather actually have to laugh out loud every time you type lol, haha, lmao, etc. <laughs> or always have to replicate the face of any emoticon you use? I'm gonna go ahead and say replicate the face of any emoticon you use, because I type lol, haha, lmao, I type those things a lot. So I'd just be laughing constantly and everyone would be like, what's so funny? I made a mistake and would you rather, so replicate the face. Although if you use that weird like scared like hollow ghost face, that would be kind of creepy. <laughs> Would you rather lose your preferred hand, oh god, or lose your preferred foot? Oh, that sucks. Oh, I'm kind of an idiot. I just realized it's like already pre-answered. So you see what percentage of people voted for what already. I, I wasn't paying attention to that. <laughs> I'll continue not paying attention to that though, so so people don't think that I'm just voting on what other people vote for. <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree though and vote for the preferred foot. Uh, because, I mean, your hands are so important, especially to me. I do everything with my hands. Like, I wouldn't be able to make YouTube videos anymore, especially my preferred hand. And it's not like I do much with my preferred foot. Just get a prosthetic. Easy. <laughs> like, it's a lot harder to replace a hand because it's just so nimble and so important. But with the foot, you just get a prosthetic. No problem. Would you rather be invincible, aka never die or get hurt, or be invisible? Oh, man. Both of those are terrible, because if you are invincible, you would live not only forever, but you would live past, of course, all of your relatives and friends and close family and everyone you know dying, and not only that, you would live past the end of the world. <laughs> so when the sun becomes a red dwarf and implodes and explodes and it destroys our solar system, you'd live through that. And then what? You'd just be drifting through space just like, wow, I'm really bored. <laughs> like, that'd be terrible. But if you were invisible, you'd be scaring the crap out of everyone, or you could just like wear a bunch of clothes and like a mask, be like the invisible man. Let's do invisible. Most people agree to be invincible. I think the, the thought of being invincible and being immortal is a lot more appealing sounding than it actually is. Oh man, this one sucks. Would you rather be infertile or have a child that passes away before the age of five? Could you imagine like if you wanted kids, this would be terrible because I know wanting kids is a really strong, like it's a really strong, I mean having a kid is like, it's a big deal. And I know uh, parents who want kids who can't have them because they are infertile, they get like really depressed and it sometimes can like tear the relationship apart. But going through and choosing having a child that passes away before the age of five, it'd probably be even harder. But thankfully for me, I don't want kids, so <laughs> be infertile. <laughs> Would you rather live without your cell phone or live without your iPod? Well, given that you can download audio files onto your cell phone and play them through that, and your cell phone is a lot more important, definitely uh, live without the iPod. Thank you very much. Would you rather have a large painting of yourself? 
Okay, or have a life-size sculpture of yourself. Very egomaniac, these two. <laughs> a sculpture versus a large painting just hung in, like, your, like, master hallway or whatever. That's kind of, uh, it's kind of, that. that's even more, like, when a guest comes over, they're like, wow, this person's full of themselves. And also, it takes up, like, a lot of room. A sculpture would just be really hard to take everywhere, but you just put it in the backyard where no one could see. So, I'll go with sculpture. And the last question, only watch dramas for the rest of your life, okay? or only watch comedies for the rest of your life. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with dramas because I'm usually in terms of like TV or movies or anything, I'm always usually more attracted to dramas. Like rarely do I appreciate comedies. Although my favorite movie in the whole world is a comedy, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Uh, but like Breaking Bad, I love to death. And I all of the things that I love to death besides uh, Scott Pilgrim and Hot Rod, Hot Rod's hilarious, are dramas. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go with dramas. Also, I could just go to YouTube for my daily laughs. So everything's all well and good. So that last one was the last question, but I'll leave this one for you guys to answer. It's split right down the middle so it seems good let's read it would you rather vacation in new york city or vacation in tokyo so leave your answers in the comment section down below but you know what they say too much of a good thing means it's drugged <laughs> yes that's a part of my outro now <laughs> thank you so much for watching to this point if you liked the video please be sure to leave a like down below it helps a lot and i will see you all in the next video Bye bye